everybody back with a bunch of old school ultra gold medallion cards that I picked up a lot of these will make for some nice binder material so let's jump in with some from 96 which was definitely one of the better years for the gold medallions I know a lot of people have said that that was their favorite year it's right up there for me either the one or two spot as far as my favorite gold medallions well, that was uh, Jimmy Key on the first one. Here's uh, Paul O'Neill. Not sure I'll show the front and back on all these, but I wanted to show the back on a few of them because they're so cool. It's a Raul Ibanez rookie with a nice dent on it. But I won't complain about that. I got these like real cheap. Same seller had a bunch of these. I just kept adding to the stack, so you're going to see some random ones. There's a David Justice. Got a few Mets. Here's Fonzie. Edgardo Alfonso. John Franco. But yeah, it's a really cool design. Got like the embossed lettering on the gold medallion back there and on the name. Again, really cool back on the 96 Ultra set too. Here's Jose Vizcaino, former Met and Yankee. Got a big hit against the Mets when he was with the Yankees in the 2000 World Series. Game one hit the walk-off single. Here's a few more Yankees. Kenny Rogers. Definitely not one of my favorite Yankees, but again, I just kept adding more and more to the stack. So these will just be some nice binder filler on a few pages for some of these old school Yankees they got Black Jack McDowell another guy who I wasn't too fond of Jeff Nelson really solid relief pitcher for the Yankees he was really just kinda like a throw in in the Tino Martinez trade with Seattle got a few from my Puerto Rican collection Pedro Munoz got him there with the Twins. And then also got him with Oakland. So I guess this one is Series 2 because I think he played with the... Yeah, he played with the Twins before Oakland. So I guess one is Series 1, one is Series 2. We got another Met there, Bobby Jones. And another Met, Jason Isringhausen. He was part of Generation K. I forget who the other two guys were. I think it was Bill Pulsifer and Paul Wilson. It was supposed to be like three aces for the Mets. You got another nice one for the Puerto Rican PC. Sandy Jr. But yeah, this whole stack is not from 96, but yeah, I guess I'll just show all these from 96 first and then show some of the other years I have. I guess it's going to be a longer video, but again, these are just so cool. Just wanted to show them before I put them away. Here you got a Joey Cora. Jim Abbott. With the Angels there. Would have preferred that with the Yankees, but that one's fine. Here's a Dennis Martinez. What happened to that Dennis Martinez guy that used to be here on YouTube? I kind of picked that up just in case I ever see him around here again. I have a few other ones I wanted to send him. Here's an Andy Fox rookie. Solid utility player on the Yankees. I think 96 and 97. Then he went on to Arizona, I think it was. There's one of the old school Mets. I like Lance Johnson. Good center fielder. Used to hit a lot of triples. Here's a Jeff Kent with the Mets. I think he might have only been with the Mets for like one year. Then really kind of found his way when he got to San Francisco. So that's the end for the stuff from 96. Now here are a few from 97. Wasn't quite as fancy looking or shiny in 97, but I still like these. Just has like a little bit of gold on the lettering. You got Sandy Jr. Cool thing about the goals here this year too was the photos were different. The base cards had a 
different photo and then for the goals they just did like a photo variation kind of a cool idea you got a Cecil Fielder this 97 Ultra set in general was just one of my favorite sets from back in the day just kind of simple but looked really cool Joe Girardi Ramiro Mendoza really solid like part-time starter part-time reliever for the Yankees back during that time but again always stepped in and did a solid job whatever they needed him to do here's a Bernie which I'm pretty sure I already have but again just kept adding to this stack actually I think I have the base the gold and the platinum for that Bernie here's an Edgar So again, just kept finding a lot of these to add to my various binders. Got a Carlos Delgado. Ray Ordonez. Man, Fleer also had some pretty decent photography during those days. I know a lot of people talk about the stadium club photography and even upper deck, but Fleer Ultra did a solid job too. You got Bernard Gilkey. You have kind of another random one here, John Smoltz. Figured why not. Got Gary Sheffield. Bobby Abreu, back when he was just Bob Abreu. And a Jim Edmonds. Kind of a funny look on his face there. Looks like you can't quite see the ball. Yeah, great outfielder overall. That's kind of a one of the few times he probably couldn't track the ball. Now here are a few from '98. This year was also pretty solid. Went back to like a gold background, but it was like much simpler than the gold lettering. So you got Paul O'Neill. The backs weren't as good on these. You got Tino. Yeah, at least they got a ton of stats for people who like looking at stats, but yeah, the photos on the back weren't as good. That's a cool Mariano there. But yeah, let me not show the front and back on all these. This will take forever, but there's a David Cohn. So again, got a few for my different Yankee binders. Got some for the Puerto Rican binders and then just some random 90s guys as well there's a Roberto Hernandez I think I have the platinum on that too here's a Todd Hundley again kind of a cool looking photo there throwing somebody out maybe kind of a an interesting helmet there I don't remember the Mets wearing white helmets too often you got a nice Ray 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 Ordonez. Another really cool photo here on this. Ken Caminiti. Always remember seeing that card back in the day, but never had it. There's a Jeff Kent again. Not sure why I kept adding Jeff Kent on these stacks. Maybe I had a whole Jeff Kent fix going. There's a Billy Wagner. What up, Denny? Let me know if you need that one. Here's an Andrew Jones. Kind of weird shot there on his leg. Looks like it's like twisted in a weird way. But again, really solid photography. Got an Albert Bell. So again, here are some of these random 90s guys. Got a Palmero. There's a Puerto Rican PC guy, Javi Lopez. Carlos Delgado. Okay, these aren't like really too expensive or anything, but I think it was just fun to add a huge stack of them like this. You got Baerga. Garrett Anderson, as I've said, was one of my favorite hitters at that time. Sweet left-handed swing, could just hit line drives everywhere. You got the GOAT, Harold Baines. 
And this one's from series two, you could tell because like the the surface is a bit smoother on this. Let me show you another one from series one. The the gold back here just looks a little bit different. And then Gary Sheffield. On the bands you can see it's like a bit smoother and clearer. So yeah, I'm not sure why they did that for series one and two. But at least it made them different for each series. Here's a Cruz Jr. Bobby Bonilla. And last one for 98. Levon Hernandez. Another 90s guy that I liked. Alright, so just a few more. Don't have nearly as many from the next few years. Here's some from 1999. They looked pretty good that year too. This year they wrote gold medallion edition in gold down there. So pretty cool, just little details like that can help make a card a little bit better. So there's another Garrett Anderson, here's a Roberto Hernandez. So you see some of the same players I usually get. And then I got Hoft, got a Trevor Hoffman there. Looks like he's about to sign a few things. And those were the only ones I got from 99, not sure why. Maybe the guy didn't have many more. Maybe I was just running out of money. But here's some from 2000. Now this year they kind of went back to the 98 look on the background. But along the top they did a bit of a die cut. There's Javi Lopez. But again, they look decent this year too. I would say most years they look pretty good. Here's David Wells. Here's Lima time, Jose Lima. Another cool photo there. We got Carlos Delgado. Another Harold Baines. Hashtag Baines Nation. A few Yankees got a David Cohn and Andy Pettit. So again, should have picked up more from that year too. Those were cool. And then for some reason, I didn't pick up any from 01 or 02. So we're going to jump to 03 and I only have a few of those. So this year they didn't do a gold background at all. They just wrote gold medallion here on the side and they did some die cut action on the top and bottom. So honestly, not one of my favorite years of gold medallion, but... Still not too bad at all. There you had Javier Vasquez. Here's Posada. And Bernie Williams, which I don't think I had. So that might be a new one added to the Bernie count. And then only one from 2004, which is a Hideki Matsui. So here again, they went to the kind of gold background. Bit of the die cut action. But the background looks like much darker on these. Again, not one of my favorite years, but still decent. And so that's it for the stack. Again, a bit of a long video, but I just kind of got lost in these for a while. Did not want it to end. Maybe I'll pick up a few more down the line. Either way, I'll talk to you guys again sometime soon.